Hi, I'm Faryal. Today in my kitchen, we are making garnish pie. So let's start uh, with the uh, egg crust pastry. It is, uh, it is uh, hard because I just take out from, from the fridge. So for this, uh, the filling of the recipe, we will need the golden uh, raisins and then the dark raisin and um, some peel of orange, the peel of lemon, peel of orange and uh, the juice of lemon uh, and orange that I told you that I will use these two instead of brandy. Then we will add sugar, uh, I think it's a one fourth cup and cinnamon powder, one teaspoon, nutmeg, cloves and ginger powder. Ginger powder is just uh, one fourth teaspoon of um, ginger powder. Then I have uh, dry fruits like plums and apricot. I just uh, cut them just a little in the in the raisin size so it will mix really good with the raisins and plums let's start doing first uh, to uh, to mix all ingredients and then we will uh, roll out our pastry and fill the uh, fill the the fillings of mince meat pie let's start with uh, making filling we will put all ingredients in a bowl raisins Peel of, uh, peel of uh, lemon, peel of orange. I forgot to tell you about the pistachio. You can add or not, uh, but it, it, it tastes really good. It's my touch. I don't know whether the recipe is it, uh, is it added or not, but uh, I'm adding it. I like it. You can add any nuts, so no problem. Apricot. Plums, dried plums. Then I will add sugar. Cinnamon. Oh, this is salt also. I am adding a half teaspoon of salt and ginger powder. Mortar and custard. I, I have done with the clove, so I am adding its powder. It's smelling very good when you do it in the mortar. It's really nice. Uh, it smells nice. And then I will get uh, our nutmeg. It's about half teaspoon added. Now I will add uh, orange juice and lemon juice. And I will mix it up. Mix it well. Usually we have to leave it for a night or two night to to make um, absorb all the liquid or juices in the in the raisins and all dry foods. Um, so you, you have to put in uh, some jar or some some bottle and put in, uh, inside the fridge. So it will it will be a nice filling for your I mean sweet pie. Now we will switch on our oven on tart. I have a tart setting in this to 10 centi to 210 centigrade. Now it's preheating. Now we will roll out our pastry just before before putting on this uh, wooden surface I will dust it with the floor and dust my rolling pin as well and I put it say just put press it like that 
and like that then turn the pastry then press it like that and then press it like that now we will start our dough rolling like that turn the pastry Again, we will turn it. Now it's ready to trim it with the cutter. Mini tart pan, and this is a mini muffin pan. So I am just uh, oiling it uh, so the pastry will not stick uh, inside. So I will take a cutter. Don't push it inside very hard with the light hands. Now we will fill the pie filling inside. Don't don't fill too much. Just on the level. You can add hazelnuts and walnut also. As we have filled with our mini pies, so we will roll out it again, but little bit thinner than this one. down now the topping cutter I will change hard shape your flower shape I have beaten one egg I will add little bit cream in it one tablespoon approximately brush on your the topping like that and put on the Just meet the end little bit like that. Now we will put in the oven for uh, 20 minutes. In the center, don't cut it, just press a little bit like that. And then I will add in the center the filling. Do not overload with the filling, just um, in the center like that. So you can see the trace of the cutter and just inside the trace of the cutter. I'm rolling out for the topping.
brush the corners sides with egg and cream mixture just press it I will brush it with the mixture of egg and cream. I will put it in the oven for 20 minutes. We take it out. Then I will take it out. these are our mini pies of different shapes uh, you can make easily at home we will try uh, one one of them so i would like to try it so look at this inside it's nice so i will i will take a bite mm. Mm. It tastes really nice. It's really easy to make with the nuts and spices and dry fruits. So you can make it anytime um, uh, on the Christmas, on breakfast, on your tea time. And um, uh, I hope you will like my recipe and video. And remember me in your prayers. And uh, goodbye.